Hello everyone. Today's verse of day is Luke 6, 38. Give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put in your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. When I'm talking about this, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about materialistic things. No. I'm talking about spiritual things. When the Lord gives you spiritual things, give it, give it back, give it, pass it along, spread it out, give, give the word of God. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Don't hold back his love. Don't hold back his, the things that he tells you. Sorry, there's a bug on me. Don't hold back the things that he tells you. Don't hold back the gifts, the, the, the things that he tells you to give people. Don't hold back his actions. Don't hold back any obedience. And if you do that, with good measure, press down, shaking together, and running over, more will be put into your lap. More things, more word of the Lord. More things for his kingdom will be put into your lap so that you can give again. So that you can give again. And what's our mission? What is my mission? I've said it, but I got to say it again. It's to see more more of the loved ones and the people that I run across go to heaven. That is our mission. And does he take care of me, my needs, my, my, my materialistic needs and things for food and water and shelter and, and nice house, nice walls? No spiders biting me, I guess. <laughs> yes, he does. I don't know what that bug was that was on my leg. But he takes care of those things. And the Lord t shows how he's trying to get us out of the mind of being materialistic. With Luke 11, 11, What father among you, if his son asks for a fish, will instead of a fish give him a serpent? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? Man, that would suck. That dad would be messed up. If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children... How much more will the Heavenly Father give the what? The Holy Spirit to those who ask Him. Sometimes people live that out and say, How much more will the Heavenly Father give to those who ask Him? No, He gives the Holy Spirit. See, it's all spiritual. The gifts I want are spiritual. I want more understanding. I want more self control. I want more peace. I want more long suffering. I want more spiritual things. I want to be able to love people better. I want to have more understanding with people, more patience with people. So as he gives me those things, I need to give it back so that he gives me more and more and more so that I can be more and more like him. Let's bless people. Someone talked about, I don't know if I ever talked about this in verse a day, but a long time ago, it was talked about Salt Lake City or the Salt Lake. And the thing about the Salt Lake, it is water that is just salt water. And there is literally no fish or anything in it because it doesn't flow out. There's no irrigation of the water. There's no air bubbles that come in and out of the water. Nothing flows in, nothing flows out. We as believers can sometimes be like that, where we're trying to be like monks or something, hold all our information out. No, let it flow. Lord gives me something, I give it to you. Let it flow. And he gives us more and more and more. He, he's going to give to those that want to do his will and that want to do his work. And he always, he takes care of us financially. If you're worried about that, don't worry about that. The Lord will take care of that. But we just want more spiritual things. As 2 Corinthians 9, 6 says, The point is this. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly, or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. He wants us to give out of our, our, our heart and soul. 
He wants us to give out of our will. When the Lord tells me something to give, I don't know, verbally, I give it out of my will, even though it may hurt, even though it may, people may judge me for saying, oh man, you said some real things out there. They may not be, no, it does hurt, but guess what? I gave it as a cheerful giver. Or if I'm giving away something materialistic, the Lord tell me to give it, give it. We give as a cheerful giver. He don't want us to do it under compulsion. And God is able to make all grace abound to you so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. As it is written, he is distributed freely. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. Forever. He has distributed freely. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. God is so good to us. He is. He's... <laughs> He's a father to the fatherless. Blessed is the poor, for there shall inherit the kingdom of God. He is there for everyone who is in downshed. He who supplies the seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness, specifically of your righteousness. You'll be more and more like Christ. You will be enriched in every way to be generous in every way, in every way, materialistic, uh, in word, in love, in patience, in every way, which through us will produce thanksgiving to God. It all goes back to him. For the ministry of this service is not only supplying the needs of the saints, but is also overflowing in many thanksgivings to God. Do you see how I put that there? This ministry of service is not only supplying the needs of the saints. Let's get that out of our minds. Those things that are physical. But it is also overflowing in many thanksgivings to God. What I really want to give you is peace. What I really want to give you is knowing your significance. Knowing who you are specifically. That there's no other like you and that God made you and that God loved you. That's the greatest gift I can ever give to anyone. That is the greatest grift to point to God and show him that show you that he loves you. That's my gift to you. And we're overflowing in many thanksgivings because when I show you that, hopefully you're thankful. You're thankful that God loves you so much that he would die and resurrect for your sins so that you might be saved. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. May many be saved. Thank you for our gifts. Thank you for giving me these gifts. May I give it right back, Lord. And just give me more of your, your Holy Spirit. Just fill me up. Fill me up, Lord, more and more, day by day. In Yeshua's name, I pray. Amen. Goodbye.